I received a phone call the other day from a young man. I know he couldn't have been over nine or ten, maybe eleven. It's hard to tell sometimes uh, over telephone. And um, yeah, the young man had told me that uh, he was a scout and that he had been um, carving some of my axes, in other words. Well, they weren't mine. I, I didn't originate uh, uh, carving the axe, okay? I just, I had carved some on some of my videos. And uh, he had carved a bunch of them for his friends and they really loved them. And he asked me, he said, Mr. Messer, he said, um, he said, one of my friends asked me would I carve him a double edge axe. And uh, he said, I just kind of went blank, Gary. He said, I just thought, well, I don't know if I know how to do that or not. And um, so I kind of laughed a little bit. And I said, well, why don't you just take the axe and, and, uh, that you carved, and when you make a pattern, go ahead and uh, put the other blade on it as well, connect it to it on the other side, and you'll have a double edge axe. And it was one of those moments where... Um, you know the phone goes dead so I suddenly realized that um, I might have told him something that he didn't you know it just kinda of, well I don't know what to do and oftentimes what happens is um, when you've been carving a long time or anything um, when you've been doing something a long time and someone asks you a question it, it's simple to you but it's not simple to them so I said, well, I'll tell you, he said, well, would you, you carve a double-edged axe on your videos? And I said, yes, I will. And uh, we hung up, and I, I kind of laughed, and I got through. And I learned a good lesson through this is the fact that um, many times what seems simple to us is not simple to someone that is starting or, or, or doing or whatever. And uh, that's the part of being a teacher or teaching and helping other people learn things. And uh, so we often have this situation. So I had to laugh about that. So I'm going to carve him. I'm going to carve, and we, we've done the regular single edge axe. But all you have to do, and all I did, was I simply went and got me a picture of a double edge axe off of the uh, internet. And I copied it. And. Uh, I think I got this on Amazon or something. You just put in double edge axes and they came up. And I just took the pattern and I drew it out. I mean, I didn't draw it out, but I mean, I just traced it with carbon paper on a piece of basswood, three quarter inch basswood, and there is our, our double edge axe that we're going to carve on here today. The a lot of you, you know, I'm a lot, a lot of you may say, well, that's, that's a simple project. Well, it, it is to most carvers, but to this young man, he needs to learn how to do it, and we're going to do it. And uh, it won't take long, as I was saying, but this will be a nice little project to show him. Now, the grain of the wood, you want to go this way. This is a piece of three-quarter inch basswood. And I asked him, did he have a way of cutting it out? He said, yes, his dad has a saw. And um, good. I said, well, don't be careful with power equipment for sure. And uh, so we're going to carve out this little double-edged axe. And I, like I said, I got this off the Internet. Just a little picture of one. And then I uh, just... Uh, now, if you notice, this is a straight handle going down. And all I did was I curved that handle just a little bit going down. I like the curve handle and we will take our knife just like we did our other one and the first thing you want to do is you want to start bringing that handle down okay and I appreciate this young man calling I really do and and uh, I thought about whenever I said what I said. I remember sitting, when I first became an operator at a plant, um, we went into a class we had to go into, an orientation class, and we had some little process operating things we had to learn. And what we do first, we start bringing this handle down.
and uh, they had this young man come in. It was a chemist. And I mean, you could tell, I mean, he knew his stuff. It was simple to him. But he was teaching us chemistry concerning production. And I'm going to tell you something. You could look around the room. And this guy was just rambling on and rambling on and rambling on. And I mean, he was so far above our heads. Of course, to him, it was simple. You know, he'd turn around and go, well, you see, isn't that simple? And I mean, it was just so far above our heads, it was pitiful. So, <laughs> but that's what happens a lot of times. That's what, that's what makes a, a great teacher sometimes. When a teacher understands that his students don't know something necessarily, then he can teach them. But we can go way over people's heads sometimes. Even what we think is simple um, is not always simple to the person that needs it. So here we go. We're, we're, we're bringing down that handle, first of all, okay? And the carving is very similar. We're kind of jumping back with, a, with an axe again, but this is a... This was a special request from a young man. And you you work from both sides, okay? You work from both sides to get this down kind of even on each side. See, just like this. I get a lot of requests from scouts and uh, I, I try to spend a lot of time on simple projects that are, are for young people and, for, and and I get a lot of requests for them and I'm, I'm going to start looking for more and more as I go along. The scout series that I did of the, the different uh, scout projects was very, very popular. Uh, I, got, I got a tremendous amount of requests from, from uh, scout leaders and stuff and they continue to ask for for uh, simple projects for their scouts uh, to do earn their merit badges and stuff and this is a good project here now let's go and just sort of work our handle down here won't get too fast but don't I said a lot of people. Uh, a lot of people ask me. Uh, a lot of more experienced carvers. So, you know, you need to do more advanced stuff. But if I can help these young carvers or these young scouts and people like that learn to get their merit badges, it's worth all the nice projects in the world. I'll tell you what. Like I said, I do mostly flat plane figures. And I like to experiment with them. But if you are going to teach others, then you're going to have to get on their level. Which means that uh, you're going to have beginners and you're going to have more advanced people. So you try to do projects of both. And do that. Now, young people, Always wear your carving glove. Always be very, very careful with a knife, as I say. I would not start a child carving before the age of 10. Now, I know there are young kids that are 9 and 8 that are carving. Now, you can do soap carving and stuff like that, but to put a knife into the hands of a kid 8 years old, I just don't... You know, I know they may have fooled with the knives since they were a long time, which is different, but but I'd be very, very careful about things like that. Because a lot of kids will cut themselves and then they'll never pick up a knife again. So you don't want to scare them. Okay, here we go. We're getting that handle down now to where we want it.